and we're going like. Wait, stop playing. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can hear you. This is so much you know. The podcast you're not warning about. Are you crazy? These kids could really hurt themselves with this stuff. Oh, God, I thought that was absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to mess with this. This is gonna end really abruptly. abruptly. <laughs> Welcome to So Like You Know, the podcast your mother warned you about. I'm Bo. I'm Shell. And I'm JP. And we're a lovely, beautiful people, and you're here to listen to us because you seem to enjoy that for some reason. But as you guys know, we do a live show every Thursday at no- Thursday at nine thirty Mountain <laughs> Standard Time. Right here on Spreaker.com and Facebook.com at S-L-Y-K Radio, because we like to. And if you want to stream us later, don't forget to check us out on um, iTunes, on Spreaker, at, at, as normal. Uh, we're also on Stitcher. Uh, where else? We, I already said that part. <laughs> I said that for the, for the live feed. Um... Uh, we're also on iHeartRadio and Amazon streaming. Is that what I said last time? That sounds right. Alexa. But, yeah. Honestly, if you Google us, we're there. It's really easy to find. Yep. There's also, I think, embarrassing photos. But that's what it's Probably. for. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, what's up? We haven't seen what's you in forever. What's up, man? Good to see you. I'm sure Daniel's been... You, you've been quite busy, sir. I, I, it, I feel like it's pretty rare for you to miss the show unless it's... You're doing something cool. Yeah. Like standing in line for Star Wars tickets or something. He doesn't stand in line. He just magically appears in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> then his boss. He's, he's a boss, man. So, yeah. Um, hold on. Let me downsize that. There we go. Oh, Chad is popping up. <laughs> Holy crap. That's weird. What's up, Terry and Mike? Good to see you. What's going on, Mike? And we are nerds. Nerds is good. He's in Nebraska right now. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that explains why he's, like, commenting. What the hell else do you do in Nebraska? <laughs> just, just sit and wait. Yeah, uh, yeah. Probably. That sounds about right. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I'm bring this down a little more. Apparently, Daniel had some issues with issues. Star Wars tickets. We started with Star Wars tickets. It's all soft now. Oh, that's stressful. That's always stressful. But it's all good now. Good, man. So, anyways, that sounds like Hannah's home. As you guys know, we always like to start out our show with the intro to the craft brew. In mm-hmm. review. Yes. JP, what are we drinking? Tonight, we are drinking Pump Action. Is it Imperial Pumpkin Ale from Forno's Brewing? Uh, where am I? Oh, let me just use this bottom one. And football season has a, has arrived. Pie in the oven and the aspens have turned. Time to lock and load your palate with a full of cinnamon sticks, nutmeg, allspice, brown sugar, cloves, and pumpkin venom. When you say it like that, Behemoth. brown sugar, that sounds a little weird. <laughs> Packed with over 10 pounds of pumpkin per barrel, a hefty helping of pumpkin spices, there is no shortage of fall flavors in this spiced ale. Excellent. And it is a seven point seven ABV. So, well, I mean, and I, the uh, guy at the liquor store, Pete, um, highly suggested it, and he seems very knowledgeable. And the beer itself has won awards. So, you must now, have that with an IPA, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was stacked weird. I even looked. I double checked to make sure it wasn't just me. The uh, the top one. Was the IPA one, the bottom was the pump action. It's a seasonal one, right? I believe so. Yeah. So, Imperial Pumpkin. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I mean, it, it, hopefully it's real delicious. Uh, some sort of stand-in for whatever the name of that one Hannah likes is. And the Pump... Pump kick? kick? Pump Kick, yeah. From New Belgium. That they decided to switch Hi. out with some stupid freaking... Uh, Jalapeno beer for some reason, which I don't understand. Yeah, they got rid Have of. Have you the, had a chance to get 
your uh, Venatucci? No, not yet. I haven't heard. I yeah, anything. I haven't heard anything about it actually. I mean, like I know the, they're obviously like Venatucci's gonna do their pumpkin if yeah. I mean, like pumpkin ale. Hold on. I'm asking. I'm asking I'm Leska. Still. Maybe she knows. <laughs> also, Mike, I'm glad you're gonna be home for the party because it's a party. This is party time. All the time. Um, but yeah, I want that Venatucci beer. If you guys don't remember, uh, the last three years we've always gotten the Venatucci beer from uh, Venatucci Farms, uh, where everyone in Colorado kind of sent their kids for the big Venatucci pumpkin patch. Jamboree. Jam- I don't think I've ever used that word in a sentence. Makes- in high school. It's probably because you were talking like this, and I'm just whipping out old words. Um, Eustace Bax! <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, where's that voice come from? Um, but yeah, so we've always had that. I mean, that's just kind of the Colorado tradition if you grew up here as a, as a, as a baby. Grew up here as a baby? Grew up here from a baby. It's a wee babe. <laughs> Hold on. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. You, One of you guys should pump. Ha- pump? Plug hangings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, we also like to start off our show by plugging in one of our sponsors. And one of them would be hangings. Looking to protect your $600 investment? Then you should pick up a Hangins today. This handy device attaches to any phone with a case without any modifications, allowing you to strap it to your neck, your wrist, your purse, your backpack to keep it from falling to the ground. Only $4.99 with free shipping, so go online to our website and click the link and get your Hangins today. And that's Hangins. H-A-N-G-I-N-Z. Yeah! Hang on. It was really poor nine. I, I tried. Yes. I also made it the backwards. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, go pick up your hangings. Awesome product. But moving right along into Slick Feed. Where we geek on your week. Oh, baby. yeah. Hi, baby. Hey, we got beer you can try. I like this picture. <laughs> because it's a pumpkin with a shotgun? Yeah, and glasses. <laughs> Did you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Fancy. There's also a six-pack in the fridge. If you want. I bought a salted caramel uh, crown royal. Salted caramel crown yeah. royal? I'm going to put it in some hot cider. It's going to be delicious. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anyone else heard that. Salted caramel crown royal. Hannah buys booze like a champion. <laughs> I do it again. It's pretty good. Nice. Sweet. Like, um, cool. Feed them is mostly why I came no, not yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, slick feed. So, uh, if anyone is a fan of Tara, got so excited. Tara's excited. What's she excited for? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That's that might be Bill. That might be Bill. Probably. Um. So, if you guys are fans of Magic: The Gathering. Uh, they are coming out with a new game for it, an online game, uh, which they already had one called uh, Magic Duels. I, I had to talk to Tara to even ask her what it was. They've had several, uh, but yeah. Fair enough. I mean, I haven't had a chance to play any of them because I was one of those people who grew up and collected cards solely so I could draw them. That might be nerdier than actually playing the game. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I have hundreds of cards just so I could practice drawing. <laughs> Um, Yeah, so they are coming out with a new game called Magic the Gathering Arena, which seems like it's going to be very similar gameplay. Uh, It's going to be an updated system that will have, you know, more cards and the animations are going to be updated. So um, it should be of interest, but we just want to make sure people know. But the open beta is starting in November. Closed. Or closed beta, sorry. Uh, Closed beta is starting in November, but the uh, access is still open for people to sign up. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you go to the website. Um, Just Google it. 
Magic the Gathering Arena. Very simple. Um, and go check that out. Actually, I think I'm going to try this one out. I've always wanted to learn how to play Magic the Gathering. Did you ever play it all? A yeah, fun. I did. <laughs> play, so, so, like me and Mike... Well, um, last time we were out drinking, like we were talking about Magic the Gathering in our decks. Nice. Wait, did you still have decks? Yeah, at my parents' house. Damn, that serves no purpose here. It doesn't. <laughs> I have three cards right now. Three. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Are, are they are they your bookmarks? Is is it the nah. is it the wide eyed blue dragon or whatever that? <laughs> or it is? No, I have Yu-Gi-Oh Gob Hobbler Rats. Ew, rats. Yep. Dude, that's weak sauce. You need a dragon. Yeah, it is pretty weak sauce, actually. <laughs> you need a dragon. It would match your personality. Yeah. I just... Uh, it's cards that I've just found. I don't know. Hmm. Fair enough. Like going through stuff. I was like, oh, hello there. <laughs> when, when I'm at gold camp, sometimes people are playing, like, magic. Mm-hmm. I, I would just... I, Maybe we just need to go to Gold Camp, get drunk, and play Magic the Gathering. Or <laughs> go, go up there with the Yu-Gi-Oh deck. It's time to duel! <laughs> du- 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 duel! You it's got like, the big old armband thing, you're just uh, flipping them out. Me and Dane's decks, because they each have like six decks. Le- who is this? Mikey and Dane. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I have... My, my stack is probably a foot and a half tall. So and I I really don't know what's in all of them because it's it's cards I've collected and purchased and then cards that when I worked at my old job people used to give me because I told them I used to collect them and they they just would bring them in like oh here I don't play anymore here's a bunch of cards so I don't even know what's in all of those damn things. This is weird. Yeah. Um. So Tara says Magic the Duels does a good job at teaching you for free. Which is a good segue because um, the new game Gathering Arena is going to be free as well. So it's going to be free to play, and uh, no fee to actually play monthly, which is cool. You just um, pay, pay for packs. Yeah, so... Because they're, they're hopping on that Hearthstone train, because yeah. it looks looks very similar to it. It mm-hmm. even has, like, a upgraded visual effects for you and sounds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Mike, you're saying that, uh, yes, please, you need to... We need to go to Gold Camp, just get drunk and play Magic the Gathering. It's probably it. <laughs> it's more than can, likely. Can, can you solidly say you can play that game? Um, Enough am... that you could teach my basic ass to play oh, Okay, yeah. I okay, cool, that. cool. All right, goals. And most most of the times the cards... I'm going to bring my Magic the Gathering mouse pad right here. <laughs> no, it is one. So, like, <laughs> basically, like, uh, the so, cards would tell you how to play the game, too. I mean, sometimes they're weirdly worded. This. So, if anyone's never thought of this... This giant mat. Normally, you play Magic the Gathering on these. They make badass mouse pads. You never run out of room. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? Most of the cards explain everything, and they sometimes it's kind of cryptic from what they say. Why well, not? Like something you, you like put a land down, and then you have to turn it sideways well, if you're using yeah, it or something so like to summon. Your land is like your mana, and like each card uses a certain amount, but it shows you on the top right of the card, like, some of them are, like, earth, water, um... Black, white. Yeah. It's like, they're just And you have to have, like, a certain amount of mana on yeah. on deck to play that card, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you can always, like, every time you, I think you draw one, and, like, you always want to put down any, like, mana yep. down yep. before you, like, play a creature card or an enchantment or anything like that. Um, so that you always have, like, your full potential. No, that makes sense. I mean, that definitely makes like, sense. To, to put someone, to put, like, uh, the Gob Hobbler rats into play, it's a, it's one of the skulls in a fire. All right. I don't know. No, <laughs> no, that it's makes sense. It's been a while since I've played, but, like, it, you have to, like, you can... have those two manas, and, like, some of them are flexible. Yep. Like so is that like the number four? That's a flex, and then the other two have to be earth or something? Yep. Okay. So yeah. it's like if you're playing hybrid decks, which usually you don't want to have more than two types of elements. Uh-huh. Some people roll with more, but... Yeah, if, usually uh, you want to stick to just kind of like two. Yeah, two or, two or one. But Yeah. So this one, you'd, you'd have to trap two 
earth cards and then four other mana types. Okay. So it doesn't have to be more earth. It could be like um, Any other white, one. black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, now that Just makes to sense. equal six. Yeah. I think my favorite deck that I've played with is the werewolf deck, though. That yeah. sounds like something you'd enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you did you like getting bit by the werewolf in uh, Skyrim? Skyrim? Yes. <laughs> that's that's what I was about to say. I feel like I remember you telling me that before. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, Terry, I have a bunch of cards too, but I mean, so it's a matter of one of those things. It's just I got to sit down and play. Yeah. Um, it's not hard to learn. I will say that, and like you can play different versions of it too. Like you can play like a three-person version, and like I don't know. I I personally like to like team up and like do like two on one. <laughs> that makes sense. Also, what's up, Jesse? Hi, Bill. And Bill, that is perfectly fine. You can comment to Slick. There's a reason you have access to it. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and Tara uses the Magic the Gathering pads as as gaming mouse pad. It works. Yeah, it works. So, mm-hmm. so Bill says it's a bit complicated to play, which I mean makes sense. It's just it. That's why Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon exist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the more simple and me people of us. Um. Anyways, what do we got next? Oh, Amazon. They are uh, creeping it up, hardcore, uh, with a in-home delivery service. It's dumb. Yeah. So if uh, JP made a good point about this earlier, but so ba- but basically the system is you install a new lock on your door and what happens is that when Amazon gets to your house the delivery driver can hit a button and it unlocks your front door and they can go in and drop your packages off inside which you know sounds like for s- securing your packages is cool but like JP said you just have to follow them yeah. follow the Amazon delivery driver I'm pretty sure they'll be labeled like Amazon, Amazon, whatever. Yeah. And then people are, are already stealing, like, packages off your front porch. And it's like, now there's going to be a chance that they can sneak in there. And, well, like, they said that they don't have a, they don't have a key. It's like, they would have to punch in the address and punch in the delivery time, and then it'd be only open for a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, that might make sense, but... But still... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird thing. It's like uh, me growing up around Chicago. It's I don't know. It just seems very not well, I mean, smart. It's still, even the thing, same thing. It's like the Springs is comparatively, you know, safer, like way safer. But still, I would be paranoid of the same thing. Someone following a Amazon delivery driver to my house as soon as they walk in the house to go drop stuff off, because I'm sure they don't close the door behind them. It automatically locks, like, after the time. Well, still, it's what, but they walk, the Amazon delivery driver walks into your house, puts the packages, and the other person just pushes past and walks in. Especially, you know, if you are a richer person, and, you, you just know, have your own, like, mailbox. Right. Like, I, it would be cheaper just to build a giant mailbox, like, outside that they can just put anything into, and it locks. Yeah, so you just, like, you... Like an actual mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> put it in, and then... It's sealed. There you go. Done. Or, you know... I there seems like 8,000 other ways that this would be smarter than creating a way for home invasion. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Dan- Daniel says it's like, an interesting concept, and it could could work. But... What were you going to say? Uh, like, um... What about, like, a key card system? Like, a... A code between that, the like a fob that the driver has for that specific package and address, that like they would communicate only between each other. Well, I mean that's that's what they're doing though. Is that so? So they the Amazon driver pulls out their phone. Uh-huh. They go to the house. They hit something. It unlocks the door. They can drop it off. But that doesn't stop like someone. You know, just following them in and breaking into your house and killing the Amazon delivery driver, you know, or right. tying yeah. them up. I or, mean, I, I feel like you're going a little extreme here, but yes. It, it, 
It's better and to be paranoid so there in certain situations. Doing something very similar to this in Denver with the post office. Like, because a lot of the housing up there is like homes that have been converted into apartments, but it is still like the one main one is someone's home that everybody else has to go through to get to theirs. That's and so they tough. drop all the mail like in the like hallway of this person's home. Screw that. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've, I, our mailman from when I was working on Broadway would tell me about this, and he's like, I hate it so much, I hate going into people's homes. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it sounds ridiculously dangerous, and the scenario that I'm pointing out might be one in a thousand. It's like worst case, but still. But still, yeah, I mean, if you can't, you got to see the worst case have, at the same time. I have time. trouble remembering if I lock my front door. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, and then I just leave my car unlocked because, like, really, you have to jump start it to drive it anywhere. <laughs> you gotta get the crank out and like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crank that so front I mean, engine. If they really want to steal my car, like, <laughs> I can go for it. <laughs> I use the insurance claim to get five hundred dollars back in a crappy car. So, if, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand. Like, yeah, we all. I don't care. We all like, come from. You don't like your car? I'm like, fuck no. Different different walks of life. I'm hoping someone will take it. <laughs> different walks of life, and you know, like, oh yeah, I never lock my front doors, or I never lock my doors, and I'm like, me, an inner city kid, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> no, we around a lot. You want to end up dead because that's how you end up dead. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. It could work. I mean, they're they're. It's still in beta. I mean, Walmart, uh, Walmart wants to deliver food to your house. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm not comfortable with some random delivery driver being in my house when I'm not there. I mean, a it, contractor can't be in your house with no one there. Why the hell would I want a delivery driver there? I haven't even met that even person. The Comcast guy can't come install your your. Nope. Someone has to be on site. Yeah, somebody has to be there. there. There's too much that's it creates a massive liability, and that's that's what I'm like. Just get it delivered to your work. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, not bitching about that. Um, Destiny Two uh, just recently hit PC, which is pretty cool for the PC people. I'm not buying Destiny for a third time. For your third system, <laughs> even though it looks fucking wonderful on, yeah. on the PC. Yeah, but I, from the sounds of it, you'd have to update your computer pretty aggressively because you're running a quad core, aren't you? I think so. Yeah, quad core. It, if nothing else, you'd have to do your video card. But still, yeah. it's like one of those things. Like you see some of those 4K videos, and you're like, I don't need 4K. I just want the frames. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could be running at lowest resolution ever, and yeah. if I'm getting 60 frames a second, I'd, I'd be okay with it. Well, I mean, it's like I like I like playing like Overwatch for me sits at a at a steady eighty frames for a second, almost constantly. It's pretty pretty rare I drop below that. Um, it's so smooth. I'm like yeah. I'm wondering like how the the guns work because you know on a stick you can fight like the kickback of a gun because mm-hmm. they they said like in the developer diaries on Destiny two that. They had to fudge with the controllers because it'd be weird just to be, like, dragging your mouse down as you're, like, shooting a full auto. Well, I mean, you you do have to do that in, um... Any of the other games. But like, America's Army. That was, when I, that was when I learned how to do it. So you do... It takes some getting used to. Here it's not as prominent, though. Like, just... Like, they, they take it down a notch. Yeah. I mean, and I'm sure that's true. They gotta they gotta adjust the system a little bit for every console. I'm sure a little bit because I, I can imagine even the difference between the X Bone and the PlayStation. I mean, just the sensitivity in the controllers is probably it, much smaller, but nonetheless different that they have to adjust for yeah. the fucking FOV sliders. It's like. And like when I go in third person, I'm fucking like right there, like right over my shoulder. I'm just like I can't see anything. It's like and then it's like I had my FOV sliders all the way back, and like they went Dawn Blade, and like you could see <laughs> everything. Everything. Like, yeah. Why can't we? Why can't we pull back that far in like our our console games? Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Sometimes it's like. Guardians are slippery fuckers. They're just like, you, you pop a super and they're just like dashing underneath you and like around you and you're like, where are you? Oh, dude, that is, it is rough. It gets rough, especially with like going against another hunter who 
is really good. They are all over the place, like damn ninjas. The ninjas with, with swords. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, I'll get there. But yeah, maybe not. I I, I don't I don't play one game enough. That, I think that's my problem. Because a lot of these people like they dive into one game pretty aggressively. I play like four games a lot. <laughs> Well, yeah, Destiny 2 was released on PC, though. Yes, um, but bunches, bunches, a significant amount of people got banned on PC for, as was stated in the article, questionable reasons. Um, but when you look into it, not so questionable. Um, so 400 accounts total uh, yep. were banned. 396 of those were warranted, uh, as stated by Bungie. Um, on the grounds that the players were using third-party programs at, to place overlays on the game. Now, if you guys had to look it up like I did, what the hell an overlay was. We did. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, like, we both made the general assumption. Just It was like a screen overlay, like a Twitch if, overlay. If you're watching us now, like, we have overlays. Yeah. On so, the sides. Yeah, so, yeah, this, this, you know, down here, right there, that's an overlay. But... Um, JP found an article that finally explained, oh, the specific overlay they're talking about was adding a... Crosshair. Yeah, crosshair to, what was it, just sniper rifles? No, just like an overlay of crosshair. So your crosshair is always on. So like even if sniper rifles, when you have them out and you're not um, aiming down the sights, Mm -hmm. you don't see the crosshair. Well, that's easily done. You just take a Sharpie and just like, boop! (laughs) Or a piece of tape. People do that too, but it's like... So they when me and Matt would get the more, so we used to play Call of Duty a lot, and we would drink <coughs> pretty good, and so he'd come over and we'd be drinking, and the more drunk we get, the more we realized we weren't like doing it. So we got a little piece of tape and we just I just stuck it. So we left it zeroed out and I just stuck it right there, and I was like, our gaming went back up. We were all good. <laughs> So it wasn't until like later I realized, oh, that's basically cheating. Hmm. But they can't tell that. Yeah. <laughs> but like so. that's that's main reason why 400 accounts were banned. Mm-hmm. Like at early release, like people loaded the game up and then just like your account has been banned. I know uh, Bungie so far has only overturned four. <laughs> so yeah. 396 of those accounts are still banned, and yeah. they seem like to. The way that it stated that uh, that the case was closed. Yeah, so, so. they're done with that one. <laughs> uh, Kristen says hi. Also, hello. Um, Hunter's the mobility maxed out is infuriating. And Michael says, "Don't go ninja, nobody. You don't need ninja." Because <laughs> <laughs> you go kung fu kicking and karate chopping, and bam, that goes your leg. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. Like. I, I can understand what the ban is for, so but it's just funny. I, I, I was laughing at it too. I was like, what the hell's an overlay? Yeah, well, I already knew an overlay. I'm like, what well, screen overlay specifically? Well, yeah, I couldn't imagine what, like, were they just banning general Twitch users? What is going on? But then I was like, oh, crosshair overlay. I'm like, yeah. never mind. That that makes sense. But yeah, they, they also, sense. they've gotten rid of uh, trials for two weeks. You know why? Because you know that weird, like, high kick step? It allowed people to, like, glitch through walls and stuff. Yep. So, and they tried to disable it. They couldn't, which is weird, which makes me think that it's, like, the emotes are, like, an essential part it's very of a structure. very into it, yeah. And uh, they're just, just like, we're just going to take away trials. That's racist. I'm sorry. <laughs> a kink in the armor? Yeah. We'll go with kink in the armor. Okay. Yeah. I forgot that other one's racist. I'm trying. I'm working on this whole thing. But, yeah, that's pretty crazy to me that they, like... I'm like, yeah, we're just going to take it away. <laughs> yeah, we're done, done for two weeks. Screw this. I mean, because it, it was... So basically what was happening is that Guardians were able to get in spots they are normally not allowed to. And just shoot from underneath the map. Yeah, so, like, for example, if there's a small, short wall, you could glitch behind it with this high kick thing, and then you'd have a permanent, like, barrier yeah. that you could constantly cut, crouch ba- behind. Basically, you were wall clipping, so, like, you... Yeah. couldn't get hit. You could shoot all the people you want, and you couldn't get shot at because yeah. the, the bullets wouldn't penetrate that. God, there was one level in Call of Duty like that that someone had found out. I don't know how they found this out, but one of the maps, um, you'd go around on 
the side, and you could jump up into the rocks on the side. And this was a big... Imagine. So here's the game board, or the, the play board. And here's all of this. Here's some rocks. This is the spot where you had to hit... And someone managed to jump through that, and then it just spread through like wildfire. <laughs> and so every freaking game that you would play on that, there was always some dickweed trying to snipe you from up there. And they would dominate. Yeah. Right up until someone realized it was up there, and then everyone, their teammate included, was just chucking grenades up there, just like, Get, you are not doing that! <laughs> um, Find it, um... Leave an exploit in a game, and gamers will find it. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like rule 34, but for gaming. Um, what else we got? Oh, zombie frappuccino. Yes. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about this. I don't know about, about you guys, but I'm going to head to Starbucks in the near future. I um, mean, I'm willing to try it out. I haven't seen a picture so, of it. What does it look like? It's a, it's a green, like, it's a green frappuccino, and then it looks like it has blood dripping down the inside of it. Blood. Is it like that alien brain hemorrhage? Do you remember me showing you that? I don't know. Oh, either way. Oh, yeah, but, okay. Uh, and then it's got, it's topped with pink whipped cream that looks like brains. All right. So it's supposed to be like a green apple flavor, and then the blood is actually a red mocha drizzle or something like that. Hmm. And then it's just the pink whipped cream. I mean, it looks um, cool. It's just... I mean, it's I, chocolate and apple. Can't be too bad. Um, I have seen uh, some of my friends that have tried it have suggested instead of chocolate, ask for caramel. Okay. It's just, I after that... Um... What was unicorn. It? Yeah, after that unicorn one that tasted like death, like death farts. I don't farts. think it tasted bad, but it was sweet. Yeah, that, yeah, that, sweet that's that's sour. A, it was it was a weird flavor. Well, that's what I mean, like death, because it was like it was American death. It was diabetes in a cup. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Which is funny though, because like it, there are plenty of other like espresso drinks that had way more sugar. Yeah. Yeah, Kristen says uh, she heard it's bleh, but bleh, but it's cool looking though. Which I mean, it's definitely cool. Yeah, well, that's Google nice it idea. real quick. Like yeah. it is cool looking. Like, no, JP's got it pulled up. It looks interesting. Yeah, yeah but it, that's a lot of whipped cream. I like whipped cream, but not that much. <laughs> I, I kind of. Have you? I'm the kind of person that like I will just go and just eat it all. What? What's it what now? Have you ever ordered whipped cream on a drink at Starbucks? Usually I don't, just for the fact okay. that there's yeah. so much that's, of it. That's, when That's, like, not really that, that much. Well, this one is... This okay. this picture, I think they... Like, they yeah, that is wick, a little excessive for the photo that cream. JP is looking at. Oh, okay. But, uh, like, I, with the regular stuff, I'm just like, ah, I'm a really big whipped cream guy. It just yeah. seems to, like, dilute my, my so drink. Basically, it's just supposed to taste like a candy apple. Oh, okay. Right. That's that, I'm like I was I thinking that. like pumpkin, I, I love pumpkin, apple, apple candy. Like, and it, it, I bet like I probably will do like the caramel with it. Yeah. Um, Tara. The caramel up. Yeah. Tara says she watched a BuzzFeed video about the new Starbucks drinks, and it was interesting. But I wonder what what did they say about it though? Was like what did they say it was good? Um, and then Kristen says they had they said the apple flavor is good, but the red mocha doesn't taste like much. And that it's too sweet, which, I mean, that's generally what we've been hearing. Oh, I expect nothing less. That's surprising. So it only has 290 calories, which is still terrible, but it's it's rocking a heavy oh, wow. 54 grams of sugar. <laughs> but 5 grams of protein. Ooh, so, there you go. Get your swole on, guys. <laughs> You can go work it out in the gym and then pop by Starbucks for your zombie frappuccino. I thought the unicorn <laughs> unicorn frappuccino was like super unhealthy. I would not be surprised. Just it. Yeah. I mean, I just I that was the last one I had, and it was te- oh man, four hundred and ten calories. Fifty nine grams of sugar. Fifty nine grams of sugar. <laughs> That is absurd. <laughs> I think I've seen the video that Tara's talking about because um, there's like a dragon one or something like that, and it's it looks really good too. Hmm. All right, all right. Uh, she said there was a lot of different flavors and a lot of mixed reviews, which I'm sure. Yeah. Um, Mike says uh, five grams of protein is from the whipped cream. Ew. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, nothing like some big cream on your Starbucks. Well, anyways, if you guys want to try them, uh, they just started serving them today, um, and they it's there's a question mark we, that we when supplies run out. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, when are they gonna stop? I'm like, yeah, like, uh, uh, just like with the unicorn one, like most stores ran out in a few days. Like Szechuan sauce. Szechuan. So they only released twenty of them. That's insane. I mean, like, I'm probably gonna maybe get one tomorrow morning on my way to work. There you go. Maybe Um, at lunch. It's, it's snowing up here. It might be too cold. In the Is it already up, up there by you guys? Here. Nice. I am jealous. It will not freaking snow down here. Uh, my brother said it was snowing on the, on the north side of Springs. It always snows on yeah. the north side of Springs. Yeah. <laughs> they always get it. It's, it's heading that way. It's been snowing up here since like one. It's oh! it's it was 84 yesterday. So we're like it does work tomorrow. Snow. It needs to snow at least at least until the morning and then it where, can melt. Where we live, though, it's like two, one or two degrees like warmer, I've noticed. Always. Driving. I was like, I look at my thermometer. I was like, oh, it's it was like 31 at work and then get back to the springs like 33. I was like, Huh. Every time, just man. just weird. Every time, um, yeah. and Tara posted a link to the BuzzFeed video. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, Kristen says when the employees pour out the special syrup, uh, employees pour out the special syrup when they get sick of making them. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's when they will end. That's the yep. easy way to just do it. Done, done. It's gone. I don't want to make anymore. We're at a red dye. To be one of those girls. Um, they also have an almond milk horchata uh, frappuccino, which is delightful. I can roll with that. I it's incredibly that. sweet, too. But, it, I mean, like, it tastes like a freaking sopapilla and a horchata had a baby. Nice. I, it's wonderful. I could I could roll with that if it was, like, half that, half ex, half espresso. Well, and that's the that seems like they it'd have be a nice the cream balance. version, and then they have the coffee version I would definitely have to do the coffee version. The yeah, cream version oh, would be yeah. too much. Yeah. So, um, so a guy by the name of Tom Morgan um, has recently decided to try to use balloons to fly in the air. Um, How far did he get? Fifteen miles. Fifteen okay. miles. Um, so not not very far. Fifteen miles, like high no or? like Just distance wise distance wise so nautical he, miles yeah how high up in the air was he though uh, not very i would imagine probably just over the rooftop um he no from the videos free. i saw uh he was definitely uh, he looked like he was up there with normal hot air balloons okay um so i did in the two articles i looked at it didn't say how high he went jp's looking it up right now um, but he was definitely cruising up there. That's for damn sure. Oh, so Daniel says it can snow all all Friday night to Sunday morning, all at once. See, I I'm having a house party Friday night, and I I I, I mean it's a onesie Halloween party, which is great for the cold. I don't want my friends, you know, we having to be worried about driving here and leaving. So I'm just saying it snows. It can snow like Saturday through Sunday. I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so Tom Morgan uh, decided to fill up a bunch of air balloons. Um, they basically look like the weather balloons that the weather service uses. And just mm-hmm. sent them up in the air. Um, and a hundred of them to uh, float his butt 15 miles. And what? And from what I looked like, he was probably about a mile up or so. Mm. Mythbusters and, did it. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, that was something JP pointed out too. Is I had totally forgot is that Mythbusters has already done this, um, and he didn't pollute the environment by just cutting the balloons. Yeah, so this guy he made it 15 miles before he started to cut the balloons, but I never found anything that said why he did it. I can only imagine he started panicking. <laughs> Which I mean, like there there gets a point where like I don't know. Yeah. You, safety and, like, your resources, like, are going to run out. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he just had to poop. Maybe. <laughs> and he didn't want to, like, just drop it on someone's car. 
It's like, man, I shouldn't have had this zombie frappuccino. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Mike says 15 miles high while he laughs that. 15 miles high, that dude would be dead. Yeah, but like, (laughs) in a a, a, lawn chair. That is a dumb question. (laughs) Think. Think, Rochelle. Because what is it? The ISS is 23 miles up? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So. But still, like. Uh, You know, it's the heat of the. Where was he at? Like. uh, South 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 Africa. Africa. Okay. Cape Cod. Yeah. So. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's courageous. And it's crazy. But it's been done before. Sounds like an afternoon. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, I wanted to spend my afternoon in the air. But it's just like. Very precariously in the air. It's yeah. like, you don't even have time to deploy a shoot. Yeah, no. He only had balloons. His only option was to die. No. And, like, well, the way, to keep going. Well, like, the way that Adam Savage did it, he had, like, a pellet gun, and he would shoot out one balloon at a time. And it would actually bring him down slowly, so he, like, safely landed. Right. Yeah. So it's just, I don't know, it was weird. But it's like, yeah, just cut balloons. I'm like, why are you doing this to begin with? Because you, I guess he did it on the the tip of Africa. So he didn't have to get FAA approved. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Something like that. Huh. So, um, I don't know. I, pretty crazy. But, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I agree with JP. I mean... There was no polluting if you shoot it with the pellet gun and it just pops. Or there's far less polluting. I mean, I'm sure a few pieces mm-hmm. come off, but yeah. still. Well, so. I mean, like, the material that those are actually made out of is probably not. How do, I, how do I get down with this? <laughs> <laughs> just, like, shooting into your balloons. The yep. things that are keeping you alive, just shooting. Yeah. Just willingness to shoot that. But not that down right. gun you're, we were looking at earlier, the calico. <laughs> yeah, you could do it. You just have to... I, mean, I guess time. I definitely would probably have a backup plan because my fucking luck, my clumsy ass would drop the pellet gun. <laughs> you have to. You definitely have to tie it to yeah, yourself. Yeah, and then you'd probably have to just like start untying the balloons. That you sit there, <laughs> well, you start gnawing at it, like. I, yeah. <laughs> like seriously, that probably would be my freaking luck. <laughs> well, you had like some like collapsible like uh, hang glider. In the back. It's like, Anything at all. Later, so, bitches. If people can jump off skyscrapers with with parachutes, I I would at least try a parachute. I would have one on if I'm flying down well, to the air. Like it's that. already ready to go. It's like their parachute is partially packed. Yeah. It's just like it, so, I, mean, I, w- I would sit there. It would be in my lap, and I would be ready to just throw it. Yeah, they'd have to be like those cliff jumper parachute like readiness, like yeah. Just, there's my my primary shoot, and then because yeah, my main what is, shoot. What's oh, I don't remember. It was a thousand feet? Was like isn't that like the minimum jump height for military or something? But no, they have those be much lower. Uh, it was, yeah, it was something. It's something super stupid low. And I remember when I found it out, I was like halo jumping. <laughs> yeah, mm. like badasses. Um, mm. Yeah. Um. Our friend's daughter just turned 18, and for her 18th birthday, she wanted to go skydiving, and they do it out out here in Longmont. Oh, nice. It's easy peasy. Uh, It's better than swimming with sharks. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't know. Better than going 47 (laughs) meters down. So she did it where, like, they videotaped the whole thing. Yeah, JP did that. And it looks pretty fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, it does. Um... A lot of people say when you skydive for the first time, you don't remember it. Because it happens so fast and your adrenaline is pumping. Mm-hmm. Really, it's like, we're gonna go when the light turns green. And then just, they're just like holding you. It's like, jump. And I was like, I yeah. remember like folding through the air. The My time that I swam with sharks was way more memorable. Because it was like 30 minutes. I was just like, just down there with tiger sharks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Um... Squirrels, squirrel suits along with parachutes. There you go. There's one. Uh, I'd still take like a collapsible hang glider because like squirrel suits only. Like, There's only so much. You got. Yeah, you still got to glide. You still have to like touch the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, even, can you imagine hitting the water at that speed? You'd skip off like a rock, and then eventually you just go. <laughs> yes. 
Yuck. It would hurt <laughs> real bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that would be pretty damn crazy if you're asking me. I don't know if I could handle that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyways. So, you know what this lovely lady here on the show does? She's going to tell you about it. Well, if you guys want to find out what I do, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Shellshock Cosplay. Um, there you can see all my awesome cosplays and all the fun events that I take part in, like the Knights of the Tempest. They are a Fort Collins-based theatrical and competitive jousting troupe. Um, stay tuned for more info. We have a theatrical performance coming up uh, December 16th at the Oasis Equestrian Center. So... Should be starting practice here very soon for that, and I can't wait to share with you guys. If if you're gonna have an event, are you gonna call it like the Winter is Nigh? <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be amazing. I don't. Know. I mean, like it'll be Chapter Two, but I don't know what the title is yet. I think I think JP just gave you a title. <laughs> what is it? The Winter it is Nigh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You maybe. need look no further, madam. The winter <laughs> is nigh. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Chrissy, if you're listening, I mean, I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, um, but, yeah, so we'll be uh, we'll be up at our arena that we practice out of, which is uh, going to provide us with a much larger area to actually have jousting in this performance. So I am very excited to share that with you guys. So stay tuned to their Facebook page, Knights of the Tempest, and also on Twitter and Instagram for all that fun nightly stuff that we do. Yeah, man. Woo. Cool. Um, oh, and real quick, I just want to say, um, if you guys want to check out my crocheting page, it's called Crocheting Creations. I've been uh, making some fun closet cosplay character hats as of late well let's see what you, you did boogie oogie oogie boogie, boogie, boogie. you did Skelling, jack skellington mm-hmm. um you always do star wars stuff star Bo- wars Boba stuff Fett. um i did i've done totoro, totoro, um, totoro. she made one for I, hannah it's adorable yes and then uh i've also uh just most recently done uh louis spelter from bob's burgers i love that hat and that photo of you looked fucking awesome <laughs> yeah it's it's a fucking cool hat i i so did really you use like pipe cleaners to hats. get the ears up or no i actually bought uh uh like cushion foam like oh, okay. inch cushion foam and then i i split it in half and i uh, just cut i like made the ears and then i like made made a piece of foam that shape. That works because because it looked awesome. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So definitely check that out. You should probably tag that. Yeah. Somewhere so people can look at it. <laughs> okay. I will add that to the tags. Um. But speaking of things, you guys should check out. Uh, we have a YouTube channel that at some point in the future will have YouTube videos on it. And you guys can check those out. But our shows are always on there, too. So if you guys have, you know, streaming services you don't use, but you use, like, YouTube Red or something, you can definitely stream our show on there. So check that out, youtube.com, at S-O-Y-K Radio. I put the link right there. Go for the one with the most subscribers, because that is the working channel. Um, Coming up next is SlickTube. Tube Slickers. And it feels so good. So, uh, any fans of Avatar The Last Airbender out there? Not talking about the crappy movie. Uh, graphic novels. Yeah, this one's going to be the I, graphic novels. I didn't even know that they were... Did right? they already have graphic novels out? Mm. I didn't. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Hmm. They, they do, um, and this will be a continuance of the graphic novels. Uh, so, as... Uh, I've only seen the animation... Same here. And the and the animation, I believe, is what came first, and that's why everybody's yeah. like all like up for debate about like it being anime animation, blah blah blah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the video um, game is fun too. So, um, it is the uh, animation first, and then the I believe that they made three other or five others. I think there's five other stories that are the. Um, 
like different novels, graphic novels, mm-hmm. kind of like of the same story and like the continuance too. And then like now we're getting uh, they have a new creative team that is writing the next three part series. Sweet. So hey, that's, it'll that's have, definitely exciting. Uh, it'll have Aang and Sokka and uh, John Blank. <clears throat> Korra? Korra. No. Is it Korra? Because that's... No, that's the Legend of Korra. <laughs> that's the next one. Sokka's sister. Uh, totally yep. just blanking right now. Shit. Appa. <laughs> no. Hey, Appa. I made, I made a, an Appa hat, too. Awesome. Oh, what is her name? <laughs> I, I'm totally blanking on it right now. This is horrible. Like hardcore. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Avatar. Mm. Saka sister. Katara. 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 Oh my god. Duh. I knew it was something with a K, but that's all I had. I was like, Kor- no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, it's uh, just a continuance of the graphic novels that have uh, been spurred by the TV show. So. Cool, man. Well, yeah, yeah. no, I'll definitely check that out. In Dark Horse Comics, it definitely rolls out some good stuff. Yeah. And Daniel, that's fine. If Daniel, that that is fine. I ain't gonna hate on you for that one. But if you have a chance, sit down and watch like the first few episodes of The Last Airbender. See if you're into it. So it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I want. The is it, dude, for dude, even for your too. sake. For your sake, I sat down and tre- tried to watch some of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I but still you, don't like it. You did but watch. I tried it. You did watch Rick and Morty. I did, and I, <laughs> and I, and I like that. Uh-huh. I like that. You, it, uh-huh. it's on there. He said it. So it's one of those things, man. So awesome, yeah. So watch that whenever you get a chance, man. It's definitely a good one. Um, Tara's definitely excited about Avatar. And Mike says La Fonda. La Fonda. <laughs> Who's La Fonda? I may not have gotten that far yet. It happens. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Was it uh, Mr. Meeseeks? 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 I saw a weird t shirt the other day. It was Mr. Meeseeks just going to town on some chick. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was awkward. Why are you trying to prove your short game? <laughs> I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. You got to relax and choke up on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong. It's just wrong. Um, Something else that uh, some people may think is wrong. Um, Ace Ventura is getting a new movie. What's up, Jason? And yes, I agree. That is a series um, that needs no more, even though I do love Ace Ventura. You. So, Morgan Creek Productions, who now owns all the movie rights, um, says that it will actually be a new movie in the spirit of the original. So, it will be a mainstream theatrical production relaunch, so as not to undercut what came before. And that they would welcome Jim Carrey back to reprise his memorable role. Um, there's been some kind of theories, like maybe it's like Ace's long lost son or daughter that See, shows up on his doorstep or something. I'm Im- immediately imagining some terrible ass Disney rendition of it, where it's like I don't know, like I'm the Sweet of Life of Zach and Cody, and it's one of those kids playing like it's the li- kids. <laughs> like the little kid version of Ace Ventura, and I'm like, no. Can we get Steve Irwin's daughter? I'd watch a movie with her in it. To play, like, the new <laughs> Ace Ventura. Yeah, one, that know. just makes sense because she's extremely intelligent, if you guys have looked any of the stuff up. But she's very smart, she's very Maybe talented, Ellen. she's very motivated, and she's hot. She's Australian. <laughs> yeah, that's just how that works. Bindi. Yeah, Bindi. yeah. Are there unattractive Australian women? Does that happen? I've never heard I of it. I imagine so. Yes, yeah. there's demographics, but they're Australian you know. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we here at Slick uh, love everyone of all shapes and sizes and everything. Yeah, and speaking of Australia, my brother just landed safely in Australia. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's going to be there for the next six months. 
And I, Shell, mm. you're far more accepting of people than I am. I guess so. <laughs> I hate everybody. It's easier to hate everyone and love them later. <laughs> um, uh, Jason says uh, I love Ace Ventura but I'm skeptical about in- involving that movie series uh, sorry anything involving that movie series being continued and I agree yeah same here I mean, it's, it's like it, there's not a good track record right now of like all movies coming back that probably right. should have just stayed in the past Daniel says know, it's, it's Jim freaking Carrey though like I feel like if he's that. pretty if it's Jim Carrey Daniel says uh, they already did an Ace Ventura Jr. yeah I have never heard of that it was like a made for TV movie I think was Jim Carrey even part of it I don't remember Ugh. why is that coming up in Google why is that a thing oh um. Oh, oh, I that do remember terrible. that. Terrible. It's on like a VHS thing too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the third one. Oh boy, that looks yeah. awful. Oh man, straight up awful. That should never happen, man. Is this thing like buried next to like the ET video game? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. God damn, dude. Is that? Oh, oh man, is this that like is gnarly. Ugh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that should never be happening, ever. What did you oh, type in man. here, Shell? They're like, planning on bringing back other classics like Young Guns, Dead Ringers, Major League, and Nightbreed. Why? Mm-hmm. Young Guns should mm-hmm. never be redone. It's Why a not, perfect I classic. Guess. Why not? Everyone everyone who grew up with those movies are now old enough to produce them uh, and direct them. So, like, you know what this world point. needs? They need more Young Guns. They're gonna do um, yeah. Um, no, it's three. Not. Three amigos is gonna be done. It's four amigos. <laughs> no, it should only be redone if it is the original cast. Which, from what I've heard, Tomb- they're not all stable anymore. Tombstone. <laughs> Bo, I'll be your yeah. Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't finish our game last time. <laughs> But you know who is making awesome movies and things? Netflix. Yeah, not right. to mention they make the 80s look cool again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which With, uh, kind of was. Str- Stranger Things. Yeah, which starts tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. Technically, tonight at 12.01. I mean, like, technically it is tomorrow morning yeah. at 12.01 a.m. It would, it would be uh, 2 a.m. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I wanted to go to bed tonight. Yeah, so much for that! I'm wondering, will their soundtrack be available? Uh, I don't know, but I hope so. Soon. <laughs> like, well, their, this, the, their soundtrack. Because, like, the soundtrack for the, oh, yeah. the first season was right. pretty, pretty, pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, no, what else? Daniel says it's 1 a.m. It's not just the, sh- the show that's airing. There is something else that they are going to be airing a whole season of. And it is. What is it? It is. It. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Tell us. Yes, tell us. Um, it's uh, talking it's dead. An after show, a Stranger Things after show called Beyond Stranger Things. And guess what? This one's not hosted by Chad. Uh, not Chad. Chris Hardwick. Hmm. I'm disappointed. Uh, I don't know if you watch The Walking Dead, but the he is talking. The host of the, the talking, talking dead. dead, and then uh, didn't he do like the Sons of Anarchy after show too? I think so. Yeah. Um, but anyways, like he's like the the nerdist guy. He's, mm-hmm. he's yeah. I don't know. He does all the the after shows, so I'm kind of glad that like it's not him that's doing this one. And instead, um, y'all have seen Community, right? Yes. yes. Uh, Dean Pelton, Jim Rash is going to be the host of this one. All right, I can roll with that. I think yeah. he does stand up. He's a stand up comic too, yes. isn't he? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so on top of that, uh, Netflix is warning Stranger Things fans that um, don't watch Beyond Stranger Things until you have actually watched all of season two. Well, that's kind of weird. Why would they post that? Well, right people afterwards. Net- then? Netflix puts everything on there so you can binge it. So yeah, I um, think they would like do like one full day of Stranger Things, and then the next day they would release it. Maybe. Yeah, I can understand that. I don't know. 
But anyways, so some pretty exciting stuff about Stranger Things. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the first season, so I can't wait for the second season. Hell what yeah! Are they going to be older and slightly going through puberty? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's a thing. Damn it, guys! What's your favorite fandom? I don't know. The Stranger Things fandom is pretty cool. <laughs> Damn it, dude! Do you play D and D? What's D and D? Directions and directive. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mike says in reference to Ace Ventura Jr. If it's half as good as Son of the Mask, I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that was even a thing. I did too. Jesus. Oh, I remember that one. Too. Yeah, it was <laughs> oh, things that should never be brought up. Jason. What does Jason say? I got my first flat screen TV and Blu-ray player. We're looking forward to watching the new Stranger Things on TV. You nice are an adult now, and I'm so proud of you. But so, still keep rocking that tube TV. Though. Yeah, I was say, don't get rid of the retro stuff, but that's awesome, man. That's awesome. <laughs> um, uh, last bit of movie news. A new Predator movie poster tre- teaser. So... Don't really have much for information on this one. I just wanted to say I am excited, actually. So, so, so there is a YouTube link, and it is like a motion movie poster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it basically it's just it shows it. Um, oh, here you go. So yeah, take a look at it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's, like it, it's like ten it's seconds. Better. Yeah. So, there's lightning flashing in the background. It has the Predator face on it. So, I'm just, I'm excited. There are movies I am generally excited when they try to remake. Well, Mm -hmm. remake, add a new chapter to. Okay, yeah. Predator is definitely one of those. Because, I mean, I liked Predator 1 and 2. Um, Predator vs. Aliens was fun to watch. I mean, it's nothing, nothing like 1 or 2. No. It's still fun to watch. And nothing will ever be the first Predator. I mean, that movie has two governors in it, man. It it did. <laughs> just casually just mowing down the, the forest. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm definitely up for that one. So, I'm excited for it. I just wanted to make sure I told people about it that we may be getting a new Predator movie soon, which is awesome. I love Predator. It's such a damn good movie. Uh, what is Dan just saying? At least I'm not... Well, at least I'm not saying anything about the Dumb and Dumber prequel. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> what was that when I, I, Larry I, met Floyd? I feel like we've Harry talked about that. Yeah, it's, it's been around. I feel like we talked about that on like one of the first episodes you were on, Shell. <laughs> it's, it's right. a, again, telling people growing up with it, these classic movies, and it's like, you know what was a good movie? And what we should remake is this. Yeah, yeah. Spent my whole life with this. I'm not done, man. It's terrible. Also, uh, the um, X Men New Movie, New Mutants trailer looks badass. It looks like more of a horror movie. Than it else. does, and that's why that's the comic. Is it's basically a horror comic. Um, from sorry, from what I've heard, I haven't had a chance to read it myself. But I mean, it's basically it's definitely oriented around the scarier side of being a mutant, not the heroic. I fight the bad guys kind of thing. So I'm I'm excited for it, which I can understand why it wouldn't, you know, tickle your fancy. You're not a big horror fan. Hmm. So, I mean, I'm excited for that. But anyways, uh, things you should be excited for, Club Cosplay. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. Um, they are the nightclub for nerds by nerds, and you can find them on Facebook at Club Cosplay Denver or on their website, clubcosplaydenver.com. Um, they, I think they're doing one more show before the end of the year. I thought it was um, a Halloween prom. Uh, they already did the zombie prom Damn. that already happened. Damn it. And then I think they're going to be doing like a holiday one, a Christmas one. So, yeah, check them out. Uh, stay tuned to their pages. Yeah, so definitely. Because they are awesome and they throw awesome parties, and Movie Camp is involved, and they have excellent dancers who who definitely know their stuff. So, yeah, well worth it. <coughs> um, but hey, Megan, where where do you see that? I guess it didn't update for you. 
And scroll? Oh, there Maybe. it is. I just had to scroll. <laughs> Megan, you're awake! How's Germany? <laughs> Bust happen. Sam was saying he misses our beer here. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're, like, number one capital of all draft beers in the in the U.S. Well, he said that German beer is great, but he misses the variety here. So Yeah. Which, I mean, is understandable. I imagine it's it's a lot more traditional there. So, like, you have a standard type you almost kind of follow. Hefeweizens. Yeah. So, I mean, speaking of that, Gold Camp Brewing. <laughs> we went and had their pumpkin beer on Tuesday. They do um, an experimental limited, beer. Limited releases. Yeah, limited releases every Tuesday. They usually do it from, like, 4 to 8. Um, it might last longer if they have some. But basically mm-hmm. what it comes down to is y'all should go because it's delicious. Because last Tuesday... They did a pumpkin brown ale. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. Everything they do is fantastic. And th- before that, they had uh, that we had was an oatmeal stout. Um, and then they've yeah. done they've done butter beers, um, a whole Co- bunch of different cookies ones. Cookies and cream. Yeah, cookies and cream. So basically, what I'm telling you is get your butt down to Gold Camp Brewing. They are awesome, and then also make sure you don't miss their Tuesday craft beer limited release stuff because it is always worth it. Always worth it. Uh, what's Megan saying? Six thirty a.m. Need beer, better beer. Actually, I miss IPAs. German beer is like filling with a less alcohol. It's very weedy and heavy. Hmm. I I yeah. mean I've I've had some some of the German beers they have here, but like my dad said, it's very different over there. It's time to skunkify. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just I, I I can only state from what I've heard from people because it's from what I hear you just don't have the same experience once it gets makes it overseas. So and so hello Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> so someday someday I'll figure that out. Do we have robots in Germany. <laughs> I think we do. All right. Cool. Outclass that. So, uh... <laughs> Moving on from German beer, uh, how is the pump action tasting? It's quite It's tasty. actually really good. I freaking love the art on here. Like, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but it's a little pumpkin dude with, <laughs> with a, a shotgun and glasses. It's awesome. <laughs> with a pump action shotgun. Yep. Yep. It looks like a little boss, man. <laughs> so. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before we move on to the beer, Dana makes a good point. Three big games did come out today. Uh, we, well, t- tomorrow. No, I'm mean basically today. Today. Uh, you got Wolfenstein 2, which came out today, which I want. Doesn't have a multiplayer. <gasps> How's it going to last? Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, the first one was so badass. Assassin's Creed Origin, which I have because my friends are awesome and they all got together and bought me the super package, which is so fucking cool. Um, and then you got Super Mario Odyssey. Um, which I don't know anything about, but you know what? It's Super Mario. Uh, I can only assume it has all the games and or it is the collection of everything. Who knows? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's cool. And yeah, tomorrow technically, but I, Assassin's Creed came out 39 minutes ago. So you can pick it's it up new, from GameStop. It's the new Super Mario and people are all fucking loving it. Oh yeah. Um, so and then also speaking of game stuff, I... I, for my birthday, uh, one of my friends, Chris, old, old co-host, also got me a copy of Player Unknown Battlegrounds. So I'll be cruising around on that, aka PUBG. PUBG. So if you guys want to find me on uh, Steam, I'm underscore dd dark hybrid. Underscore dd underscore dark hybrid. So I looked three times for that. Or just search <laughs> Bo Blessing. There, there's there's only one on there, fortunately. But yeah. Uh, Daniel says, so did Mario, at least digitally, on the East Coast. So, cool. It's a new Mario Switch game. Oh, that's awesome. I'll have to check it out. It's Open World Mario. Yep. So they they went the way of Zelda. Yes. That's pretty chill. So it's basically like Mario 64, but, you know, just spurs the hell out. Where's that horse? Yeah. (laughs) Where's that that horse? (laughs) Did... That's not a Pona song. But you know what? I played one of them with my mouth in. That's great. I should not have said that <laughs> out loud. <laughs> Sometimes sentences sound great in your head, and then you speak them, then you're, oh, my, me. 
Um, kind of. They're different worlds, but it's much bigger. Well, yeah, I, I assume it's a different world. I, I would imagine the animation looks completely different, but, mm-hmm. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, okay, anyways, back to the Craft Brewing review. Uh, pump action from Four Nose Brewing. Like JP said, it is quite delicious. Quite delicious, and... Well, I'm usually I'm already gone, but like the mead hit me strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I didn't want to be too drunk. I got to finish setting up for a party tomorrow. Um, it is it has a lot of flavor. You definitely get the pumpkin, but it's not overpowering, which is great. That's always something that's very important for me with pumpkin beers. You have to have a nice, steady pumpkin flavor the whole time. Yeah, it can't be like too overpowering. Yeah, it's just like, well, yeah, it's definitely pumpkin. Yeah. There's definitely pumpkin in despair. Yeah, but, I mean, you you definitely get a little bit of the nutmeg. Um, uh, it, it's just, it's an overwhelm, very balanced beer. Mm-hmm. Um, when you poured it, it wasn't, it wasn't too heady. Um, it was enough that, you Dude, know. my hand, like, <laughs> yeah. that much. No, uh, mine, mine didn't pour like that, but uh, I mean, still, I mean, you don't, it doesn't, it's not overly carbonated overall. Yeah. Um, Mouthfeel, uh, it, it's definitely a little heavy, um, so it, it, it kind of coats Hard, your mouth, but it goes away. Hard, hardly any carbonation, though, to go along with it, though, yeah. even though it might be slightly heavier than... And that's that's the two. It's probably why it feels a little heavier, because you don't have the carbonation to kind of keep it off your tongue. You, mm-hmm. You're getting you're experiencing more of the flavor overall. So, um, <laughs> this is an absolutely delicious beer, and I definitely suggest people try this one out. It is a limited release, like we said. So go pick it up now. Pump action. I'm going to go for a five. Oh, there you go. go I'll, I'll say a five as well. But, Sherry, to answer your question, I do believe that the Switch is more readily available now just for the fact that it's coming closer to Christmas time. You just got to scroll. Why <laughs> is it not updating? It is updating. It's just you're not. It's, it's not saying down. Not, yeah, yeah. The Switch is more readily available. You don't have to do the ordery, hopefully get kind of thing. Um, I'm sure that's still going to happen with like the NES, NES Classic and stuff that's coming out. But yeah, no, you can pick it up whenever you need to. How many basic bitches would drink this beer? Five out of five. <laughs> five out of five basic bitches <laughs> would drink this beer. Uh, also, does that beer require Uggs to appreciate? If if you're rocking Uggs, you may not actually like this beer. So I, I, I got to be honest. Um, I, I, I think you, it would. I think they need it a little sweeter. We're, uh, we have ci- you can get some cinnamon con- sticks, dude. Consider how many craft beers we drink. If your basic bitch were to drink this, they might be like, uh, throw uh. some throw some cinnamon in there. <laughs> Put a cinnamon stick in. It's fancy. Mm. No, you fancy as fuck. <laughs> Yo, that shit is faff. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, it's, it's damn good. And you know what, Mike? You're gonna try one tomorrow. Because we got a six pack. And I don't drink them all. <laughs> um, Daniel says, in reference to the Switch, Switch is normal price on Amazon right now, but with Mario Odyssey coming out, I'm sure it's going to be at stores today, too. So there yep. you go. So you can rock that out. Um, but yeah, so delicious. Five out of five for the pump action from no- Four Nose Brewing Company. If you guys are wondering why we score our beers, that's because we post them all on Untapped. We're supposed to post them all on Untapped, um, where you can check out our beers, rate those beers, and like we do, you can also suggest beers to us to drink. So find us on Untapped. That's U N T A P P D. We're there at S L Y K Radio. J P is J Pizzletron, and Shell is Shell Shock Cosplay. Yeah, so don't Bam. miss it out. Follow us because we are your source for beer news. Well, not beer news, but beer tastes. Because you know what? We're pretty good at this. And our tastes are evolved. JP's a little more evolved than me. (laughs) (laughs) That means I'm an alcoholic. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So yeah, so make sure you follow us on Untapped UNPPD. Wait, so do you have a random Bluetooth story, Megan says? Random Bluetooth? Oh, Megan, you're a dork. <laughs> so this is something we talked about a little while ago, but um, there's no reason to not bring it up again. Uh, Megan had tagged me in something um, that, in reference to how the term Bluetooth came about. Um, off of uh, Insignia? Yes. Of- 
a person? Yeah, so it's actually um, King Harold Bluetooth Gormson. Uh, he's the inspiration for the uh, uh, symbol. Um, it's actually two runes mashed together. That mean his name. Um, that mean his name. Yep, there we go. Okay, I pulled it up just to make sure I wasn't bullshitting. Um, which is pretty cool. So, basic fun fact. There's no reason. I mean, hell. How did I know this already, though? <laughs> I, I think it was probably on some YouTube channel we've watched. I know SciShow talked about it. Um, but still, not everyone knows this stuff. And it's cool things. Oh, what's this capture set? Sketch Bluetooth because of the success in connecting the people of North. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so his nickname allegedly came from the extreme amount of blueberries he ate, he ate which permanently stained his teeth. <laughs> Old blue teeth. So, yeah. So... Stuff like that, man. Stuff like that. <laughs> Why is this not scrolling it, down anymore? I just have my mine up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. I'll just keep scro- just sit here like this. Scroll, 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 scroll. But, you know, speaking of keeping yours up, make sure you don't drop your phone down and get your hangings today. That's hangings. H-A-N-G-I-N-Z. It is an awesome product that straps to you, allows you to strap your phone to your neck, your wrist, your purse, your backpack to keep it from falling to the ground. It's only four ninety nine with free shipping. So go to our website, soluckyknow.com, click on the link on the bottom right hand side, and order yours today. Four ninety nine with free shipping. You can't go wrong, man. Nope. Um Yeah, um, yeah, Megan said is uh oh the So I'm forgetting part of my own story is that so she she texted me, what, what was that? Um, Monday. And that's exactly where our guy was for Monday. It's like, I watched a Psy show on Monday that talked about Bluetooth. And then, like, 15 minutes later, she, te- she texted me. And she was like, hey, awesome snippet for the show. And I was like, <laughs> what? Why are you? See, she's al- you're almost like Amazon, man. <laughs> Just listening into the conversation. Are you listening to me? I don't know. Had, I think I learned about like, a Bluetooth, brain merge. Bluetooth a while ago because I was like, why is it called Bluetooth? And I looked it up. Like, when Bluetooth was, like, new, and I was like, oh. I was like, just, and I just like, threw that in the back of my mind somewhere. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. But, I mean, it's cool when you think about, you know, the origins of a lot of stuff. Also, if anyone out there gets bored like I did, you should look up the literal meaning of the name of your car. Because I have the general purpose um, uh, vehicle. Uh, ex- I have another friend. Oh, uh, what is it? Goat dri- or goat? Hannah drives the Goat Sunshine, the Chevy <laughs> Lumina. <laughs> okay. Just look it up. Look up the literal name of your car. Get bored and do that shit. Because that's what you do sometimes. Because you're weird. Uh, but anyways, guys, you know what? That is it for our show. So thanks for listening. Don't forget we put out new episodes every Thursday at 9.30 Mountain Standard Time right here on Spreaker.com slash S-O-Y-K radio and Facebook.com slash S-O-Y-K radio. Do you have empty space on your iPhone or Android phone that you're just dying to fill up? Download the Spreaker app and subscribe to our podcast or stream us on Stitcher Smart Radio. New shows every Thursday. And so like you know is not responsible for anything Ever. Ever. Produced by Slick Solutions somewhere Mm -hmm. in Colorado. And so, like you know, is completely weightless. Like that man in South Africa who (laughs) used all the (laughs) balloons. Just like your opinion, guys. Just kidding. (laughs) We care. But your government doesn't. And don't forget. We love you. You have an excellent evening. And go do cool stuff. And... If you don't, don't make do... Good choices. Yeah, make, yeah, make, make some good choices. Make some bad choices. But either way, have a good evening. Trick love or tr- you. Trick or treat, motherfucker. Trick or treat! <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Later.